Hello, today I want to talk about setting up a band of motion for a transient simulation. Shown here in the graphics window, we have an example of a actuator setup. The idea is current will run through this green area, magnetizing this gray area, dragging the actuator outlined in black here down. Now, First, note that this blue rectangle right here is the band of motion. This limits the motion that the actuator can take. So first, let's jump right in and assign the band of motion to that blue rectangle, aptly named band. Select the region, you can right click model, and assign a band. The motion setup dialog box should then open up. For this, we're going to assign the negative z direction, shown here in red, as the moving vector. Next, we have the initial position and the translation limits. For this example, we will be using 4.9 millimeters for the translation limit in the positive direction. Next, we're going to assign a consider mechanical transient option allowing the forces enacted by the current and the magnetic field to move the object. We will assign a zero initial velocity and let's give it one gram of mass and to model our spring we will put in the following load force. Now you should notice two things in the model setup. One, the motion setup determines the band. Next, the moving object depicts the object within the band that is moving. In this case, we only have one object. But in cases where you have multiple objects, it is helpful to create and define an inner band of motion. Now that we have this set up, let's select the object that we expect the force to act on and assign a force parameter. The next and final step is to run the setup. Once we have solved the model, we can take a look at some results. Shown here are the force results. In red, we have the moving force, and in green, we have the load force. Next, we can take a look at the winding and position plots. The winding in red shows the current applied and in green we have the position of the slug.